All right, well, welcome to the world's first 100% tadpole treble speed run, if you can call it that. Um, since this is the first one ever, I th thought I should say a few things about what I'm doing here. So basically, to get 100%, you have to get these medals which for each level, and which involves doing special things in each level, which is um, get an S rank, get an F rank, get all 100 bubbles, and then do a special challenge for something called a challenge fly. Well, the goal for 100%, obviously, is to get as many of these as possible in one shot, so usually that means I'm doing S rank, 100 bubbles, and challenge fly all at once, um, though some of the challenge flies are easier to get later, since you can't really do them at the same time as all bubbles or S rank, but like in this level I'm not going to be getting the challenge fly, but more on that later. Oh, and if the audio sounds a bit weird, um, that's because OBS decided it didn't want to record the audio for some reason, so I just put back the, in the songs myself just so that you'd have something to listen to. Um, just pretend that I was playing with the sound effects off even though I clearly wasn't. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing right here, um, there's a cutscene that usually plays right here, but if you close and reopen the game right after beating the level, then it will skip the cutscene and you don't have to watch it. Um, a funny thing I found out while testing this is that if you quit the game too soon and then go and beat the level again later, it will force you to watch that cutscene that you skipped, so I wait until the uh, loading screen before I quit. probably didn't need to reset right there. I probably still could have gotten the S rank, but it was early on. I wanted to play it safe and it doesn't lose that much time, so whatever.
The challenge fly for this level coming up right here is um, you have there's these sparkles that give you extra score, but the love there's some in this level that are gold, and you have to collect the gold ones in order to get the challenge fly. Um, I actually didn't know that the first time I played this game. I like just got that challenge fly by accident, and the little tip it tells you, the little hint it gives that tries to tell you what the challenge fly is, it wasn't really helpful in this case. So, yeah. I don't actually know if you need to get all of them, but I do, just to be safe. This is one of the easiest levels in the game, in my opinion. Um, the S rank is really easy to get. The challenge fly is just hit all the symbols, which is really easy to do. Um, getting all of the bubbles is kind of difficult, but not definitely not the worst level. Something you've probably noticed if you build up enough of a streak of missing the notes that you're supposed to avoid, um, you build up something called treble charge, which if you use it you become invincible for a short time and breaking the notes will give you extra score, which you need to do for S rank. Sometimes you'll see me hold on to the treble charge for a bit so that I can use it to boost through a certain area that's otherwise a little bit hard to dodge like in this level, particularly there's a section where you need to get all the bubbles like right next to some notes and it's just a little bit easier to use the treble charge right there. This is a cool level. It's also one of the first hard levels in the run because getting the challenge fly and all the bubbles at the same time in this case is really difficult because you need to hit all of the bamboo stalks. Um, some of them are kind of difficult to hit when you're also trying to get all the bubbles, like there's a section right at the end that took me a long time of practice just to get it. Like you have to move really quickly.
a neat little trick I do here is if you swing your tail and hit up or down at the same time, then you actually move two spaces. Um, it's a little bit too unreliable to actually use for like quick movement or anything, but it's kind of fun to do. I missed one of the uh, bamboo stalks here. Normally I would reset, but I wanted to see if I could at least get the S rank or the bubbles, so I continued. And then, of course, I missed both, because of course I did.
rendezvous You seem lost, but don't worry Cause I just might know the way through I'll slip beside you and happily guide you And never deride you, dear I'll be your own ranger Protect you from danger Like blood-sucking strangers here I think we The challenge fly for this level is to hit all the mosquitoes Not too hard grow our own two legs Dare I say you're entrancing Honestly, this is one precocious little tadpole. I mean, he's like a day old, and he already knows English and French. This kid's going places, I tell ya. Could use some modesty Guess we'll just have to be friends Please stay out of trouble Keep grabbing those bubbles I hope I'll see you again And if you should get bored Come by for a high score I'll swim by you in this bayou And when Sherry frees you I'll sing it bold and true Reprise my love note Another cutscene skip right here. After talking to Etude for a bit, it's on to Barracuda Caverns. Um, a fair warning about this level, um, there's some flashing lights. I don't think it's enough to be an epilepsy concern, but it might be a little hard on the eyes, so yeah, fair warning.
not exactly sure what the challenge fly requirement is for this level. I think it's something like flash the light in the Barracuda's eyes at every opportunity, but I just end up getting every light pole I can just to be safe. start seeing me take some hits here instead of actually dodging the notes just because it's a little bit easier. Um, this level, the S rank is pretty forgiving because the level itself is so hard so it doesn't really matter if you take a couple of hits. Kind of a funny strat I do here where I just smack my face at the literal beginning of the level just because it's easier to get the bubble like I said earlier. Like I said earlier, most levels you try to get as many of the medals as possible at the same time. Um, Snowfall Lake is the only one where you can't get the challenge fly during either S rank or F rank, but I'll talk about that a bit more when we get to it.
Okay, fair warning about Gusty Rapids. Um, I spent, like, way too long in this level because of some bubbles at the very end that were being a jerk. So if you don't want to watch me do the same level over and over again, I would skip ahead to about the 35 minute mark. The challenge fly in this level is there's these emerald things you'll notice that I'm picking up. You have to collect all of those in order to get the challenge fly, which you kind of end up doing anyway when you're doing S rank, so it works out. The timing on hitting this rock is kind of annoying, like it's earlier than you think it is. Honestly, this is probably one of my least favorite levels just because you have to be so fast and like if your computer is even the slightest bit laggy then you're just out of luck because if it lags sometimes the game just glitches and doesn't act correctly which is really annoying. No joke, it took me a really long time to get the 100 bubbles on this level the first time I played this game because my computer at the time was just so slow that I couldn't even press the buttons fast enough to get some of the bubbles and that was really annoying. Okay, seriously though, sometimes the game just lags and then the symbol will place you in the wrong spot and you can't get the bubbles. What is wrong with this symbol?
Seriously, I did it like twice in a row. I was starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to get those bubbles because of OBS was making it lag too much or something. This was the point where I was just getting too frustrated and decided to just come back again and do this level later. I think anyone who's played this game probably has traumatic memories of the challenge fly in this level, which is to get through the whole thing with without taking any damage. And this level is really hard to not take damage in. It helps to use treble charge, but even then you still have to be careful. I just use treble charge to get past these spiders because their hitbox is kind of really annoying to dodge and it just ends up being easier.
I've heard some discourse over which level is the best level, but this one's my favorite. I just really like the song and the aesthetic is just super cool. Got through a few tough scrapes, have ya? Well, that don't amount to a hill of beans down here, cause this here's Thunder Creek. And you've got a slug's chance in a salt mine of getting through here without a problem. I reckon you should mosey on back, cowpoke, before you get your goose cooked. Still hanging around? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. At least you'll be able to enjoy one last song, courtesy of my snail amigos. I the challenge fly for Thunder Creek. There, there's the, like some skulls in the background, and some of the bubbles are in the eyes. You have to collect all of those. Well, since I'm already getting all bubbles, it just kind of happens automatically, so that works out. So you're asking how to make Thunder Creek? Well, you may just stand a chance with this technique. When you see the symbol, give it away, but you've got to be nimble, bold, and brave, or else this will be a great Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek. So go, little tadpole, turn around, head back, and don't give it a second glance. No, no, little tadpole, you'll be someone's snack. Frankly, you don't stand a chance. Try to swim through Thunder Creek, Thunder Creek, like a hammerhead shark that had a fine physique. But the nine-headed hydra standing tall, or his friend of Leviathan don't the ball, but what destroys them all? Thunder Creek. For a brief moment, kiddo, you've matured. No matter what happens, you can rest assured. You're the child that endured Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek. So go, little tadpole. Find your way back home. Swim for that sanctum you seek. Go, little tadpole. You are almost done. And when you get back, you can say that here's a good and stride. Inside Thunder Creek! Thunder Creek!
might notice that I like anticipate the symbols a little bit because if you hit it too late then you just plummet instantly but it's really forgiving if you do it early so I tend toward early The challenge fly in this level is to stay in the water the whole time, which obviously I'm not doing, so I'll end up going back and doing that later. Another cutscene skip here, and then on to the final boss! Um, this is the only level in the game with RNG, which makes it a little bit of a run killer sometimes. Um, there's like some hazards that are on an irregular cycle, it's random, which can be really a problem sometimes. Yeah, this part, um, there's a saw blade you'll notice that drops down every now and then. It, like, it's not quite on a regular cycle. You can kind of predict when it's going to come down, but, and you can kind of manipulate it to go into certain places, but when you're trying to get all bubbles, that can be kind of hard to do, so sometimes you just have to take damage, and that can really be a problem when you're trying to get all the bubbles, because when you take damage, it, like, stun locks you for a little bit. And, you know, that's a problem.
honestly, I was really happy that I was able to get all the bubbles on my first try. Um, I decided to go through the, the loop one more time and get the next symbol because trying to get an S rank on a two times multiplier is really slow. Three times is the best, but you kind of have to balance between having a multiplier and not taking damage. So. If you want to join in, follow the lyrics with your eye. But if you do so, make sure that you don't die. I think that I'll be singing this until the end of time. Wow. I can't just give another refrain. No, man. But if you happen to know the way out of this room, you better tell me or I might make some tadpole soup. Tadpole soup. Call your buddies from coast to coast, get them all in here tonight. Just give me a seat and the show is on me and how? Wow! Party music is slamming here, little tackles be jamming here. Just give me your cool ears, the party of the years now. What's a life without adventure? And what's life without some pain? Hey, Baton, we could just keep rocking, girl. You need 70,000 points to get an S rank on this level, and this is the only section of the boss fight that really lets you get any substantial amount of score. So you just loop through this phase until you have enough score for the S rank. There's actually another video on my channel, some of you might have seen it, where I was able to one cycle Elegy here by having a six times multiplier, but getting that high of a multiplier in one shot is pretty difficult, so I can't really rely on that. You better tell me, or I might make some tadpole soup. Call your buddies from coast to coast, get them all in here tonight. Just give me a seat and the show is on me and how? Wow! Party music is slamming here, little tackles be jamming here. Just give me your cool ears, the party of the years now. What's a life without adventure? And what's life without some pain? Alright, and one last cutscene skip to skip the credits, and then on to my least favorite part of the run, which is Concerto Mode. Um, Concerto Mode is just like all of the levels in the game back to back, like, you have to do all of them at once, and if you die you have to start all over from Tadpole Pond. Um, nothing you do during Concerto Mode counts toward the medals, like if you get a challenge fly, for example, it doesn't count. So, yeah. Obviously, a 35-minute auto-scroller isn't really great in a speedrun. I wish there were some way to skip it, but unfortunately it's required for 100% because there's a challenge fly you get for doing it. So, yeah, if you don't feel like watching literally every level again, then go ahead and skip to the an hour 33-minute mark. The one nice thing about Concerto Mode is since nothing matters, you can literally just kind of stop paying attention for a little bit. Literally, like, the first half of Tadpole Pond, you can just ride the top of the level and not have to do anything, so I use it as a chance to get up and stretch for a bit.
can kind of see me going in and out of how much I feel like paying attention to the game at this point. Seriously though, I kind of get why it wouldn't let you get S ranks or F ranks during concerto mode since it calculates your score, like, collectively, but not the bubbles or the challenge flies. Come on. I would appreciate that.
rendezvous You seem lost, but don't worry Cause I just might know the way through I'll swim here beside you And happily guide you And never deride you, dear I'll be your own ranger Protect you from danger Like blood-sucking strangers here I think we should go dancing Once we grow our own two legs Dear, I say you're entrancing So beautiful, by you, so the girl of my dreams. Whoops, heart on my own tall shred. But I hope and pray by you feel the same way about me. Could use some modesty Guess we'll just have to be friends Please stay out of trouble Keep grabbing those bubbles I hope I'll see you again And if you should get bored Come by for a high score I'll swim by you in this by you And when Sherry frees you I'll sing it bold and true Reprise my long note Barracuda Caverns is around when you have to actually start paying attention again because there's not really anywhere you can just sit and not do anything. You'll notice that I avoided hitting the light poles this time so as to be kinder to people's eyes.
I would have gotten the challenge fly for this level if anything counted during concerto mode. But alas. Still couldn't get those stupid bubbles.
Looks like you've strayed pretty far from home. Got through a few tough scrapes, have you? Well, that don't amount to a hill of beans down here, because this here's Thunder Creek. And you've got a slug's chance in a salt mine of getting through here without a problem. I reckon you should mosey on back, cowpoke, before you get your goose cooked. Still hanging around? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. At least you'll be able to enjoy one last song courtesy of my snail amigos. Adios, muchacho. Let me tell you about a little place called Thunder Creek. It's a rather shocking channel, so to speak. From the moment when you first arrive, you'll be fighting to get out alive or failing you folks survive Thunder Creek. So you're asking how to make it to Thunder Creek? Well, you may just stand a chance with this technique. When you see the symbol, give it away. Easter egg in Thunder Creek, because why not? And this catch me afraid is almost reached its peak. For a brief moment, kiddo, you've matured. No matter what happens, you can rest assured. You're the child that endured Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek. So go, little tadpole. Find your way back home. Swim for that sanctum you see.
Fine demonstration of what happens if you're too late in hitting the symbols. Amazing how much faster this level goes when you're not trying to get all bubbles or s rank. It's time to sing another refrain. Yes, ma'am. If you want to join in, follow all the lyrics with your eye. But if you do so, make sure that you don't die. I think that I'll be singing this until the end of time. I can't escape another refrain. No, ma'am. But if you happen to know the way out of this you better tell me, or I might make some tadpole soup. Tadpole soup! Call your buddies from coast to coast, get them all in here tonight. Just give me a C, and the show is on me, and how? Wow! Heard some music is slamming here, little tadpoles be jamming here. Just lend me your cool ears, the party of the years now. What's a life without adventure? And what's life without some pain? Hey, Baton, we could just keep rocking, girl. And we'll rock till we die or go insane. Concerto mode is finally done. And now time to forget how to play the game, because it's time for F ranks. F rank requires you to get as low of a score as possible without dying, so pretty much that means taking damage on purpose whenever your streak hits around 30 and picking up as many health pickups as you can. Aside from Tadpole Bond, I end up doing the F ranks in reverse order, 
because it's just faster menuing that way. It also works out since obviously the later levels are usually harder, so it helps to get the harder ones out of the way first. I said something about taking damage whenever your streak hits 30, but it's a little bit different in Sunken Derelict because there's no health pickups in the final phase, so pretty much you just take as much damage as you can without dying. You better tell me or I might make some tadpole soup. Call your buddies from coast to coast, get them all in here tonight. Just give me a C and the show is on me and how? Wow! Heard some music is slamming here, little tadpoles be jamming here. Just lend me your cool ears, the party of the years now. What's a life without adventure? And what's life without some pain? Hey, Baton, we could just keep rocking, girl. This is also one of the challenge flies that's easier to get in F rank because you have to one cycle Elegy and that's a lot easier to do when you're not trying to get a high score. The challenge fly in Tadpole Pond, which I'm finally going to get, is to make contact with several of the tadpoles in the level. Um, I don't know the exact number, I think it was like 7 or 8, but I just hit as many as I can. I also end up taking a little bit more damage than I usually do in F ranks to make up for the fact that I have to go out of the way to get the tadpoles.
This beginning part of Saltwater Cape doesn't really change no matter which um, run you're going for. The only real difference between this and S rank is that I try to avoid the sparkles that give you extra score. This is the easiest F rank in my opinion because most levels you have to like pay really close attention to your health. But in this level there's so many health pickups and so much notes that you pretty much just take damage constantly. You do have to pay a little bit of attention but not as much. Well, 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 kiddo. Looks like you strayed pretty far from home. Got through a few tough scrapes, have you? Well, that don't amount to a hill of beans down here, because this here's Thunder Creek. And you've got a slug's chance in a salt mine of getting through here without a problem. I reckon you should mosey on back, cowpoke, before you get your goose cooked. Still hanging around? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. At least you'll be able to enjoy one last song, courtesy of my snail amigos. Adios, muchacho. Let me tell you about a little place called Thunder Creek. It's a rather shocking channel, so to speak. From the moment when you first arrive, you'll be fighting to get out alive. Or failing few folks survive Thunder Creek. 
So Thunder Creek is another kind of weird F rank because um, usually you want to avoid the symbols because they increase your multiplier, which gives you more score, which you obviously don't want. But there's so few health pickups in Thunder Creek that you kind of have to get the symbols or else you get electrocuted. So thankfully, the F rank in Thunder Creek is pretty lenient, so it's not a big deal. No, no little tadpole. Thunder Creek is also one of the few levels where I use my triple charge even on F rank just because these things are really annoying to dodge. And there's no notes in this section anyway, so might as well waste it. So go, little tadpole, find your way back home. Swim for that sanctum you seek. Go, little tadpole, you are almost done. And when you get back, you can say that you took it in stride inside Thunder Creek. Okay, and if you thought the challenge fly in Piranha Jungle was hard, um, the F rank might be even harder because the piranhas do more damage than most obstacles do, which can be a huge problem when you're trying not to die. So, yeah. Again, using treble charge here, even on F rank, just because these things are really annoying. Thank you. 
This is another level where you're required to hit the symbols even on F rank because you need to knock down the fruits to feed the piranhas because otherwise they eat you. I was actually really impressed with myself that I was able to make this first try. Thankfully, Gusty Rapids F rank is a lot easier than the 100 levels. Nice uh, score there. Um, this was also when I decided to go back and try and do the 100 bubbles again. There's a few more failed attempts, so if you want to skip ahead, just skip to 2 hours, 5 minutes.
I was honestly so scared that I would not be able to get these bubbles because of how many times I failed this. That's a new one. Thanks, game!
I mean, on the plus side, at least I was getting a lot of practice on this level. Yeah, at this point with the way it kept glitching, I wasn't sure if I should try and move, I wasn't sure if I should stay, it was really annoying.
Again, at this point, I was just getting too frustrated, so I decided to move on. Like I said before, Snowfall Lake is the only level in the game where you have to do the challenge fly separate from both the S rank and the F rank because the challenge fly is to not pick up any health pickups, which is obviously a problem in F rank, and there a lot of the health pickups are directly in the way of the bubbles in S rank, so obviously that's not really doable either way, so you have to do it separately, unfortunately.
And then I went back to Gusty Rapids one last time. Um, usually with this many failed attempts, I would just give up and start over, but I really wanted to finish the run. So thankfully, I did eventually actually get those 100 bubbles, and if you want to skip ahead and see that, go to 2 hours, 18 minutes.
Holy cow, even when I finally got those bubbles, I was still barely fast enough. That's wild. Barracuda Caverns is kind of a hard F rank because like the piranhas in Piranha Jungle, Barracuda does extra damage, but it's not as hard, so it's whatever.
So the reward for getting all bubbles in this game is you have the option to play as 8-bit baton or bit on, on in any level. And kind of a funny side effect is by the time we get to uh, Chiptoon Lagoon F rank, she is in her normal form by default instead of the 8-bit one. So yeah, that's kind of funny.
I was really concerned at this point in the level because usually I have enough health to just get through this last section of notes taking damage, but I did not have enough health at this point, so I just took the chance and used the symbols, and thankfully my score was still low enough, so that was nice. Thankfully, these last two F ranks are relatively easy, so just knock those out real quick.
right, and now that I have all of the medals finally, it's time to go back to Etude and turn in all of those challenge flies I've been collecting. This unlocks a secret level, which is a brutally hard level called Conductor's Storm. And yes, it is required for 100%, so we'll be going and doing that. Thankfully, it doesn't have any bubbles or challenge flies, and it doesn't keep track of ranks, so all you have to do is beat it. The problem is that it is by far the hardest level in the game, and just making it through alive is no easy task. Thankfully, I've practiced it a bit, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, there is a video on my channel where I actually beat it without taking any damage at all, and that's the same route I'm going to be using here, just in that video it's executed a bit better. <laughs> Conductor Storm completed, that's 100% in 2 hours and 37 minutes. You'll see I go back to the main menu here just to confirm that I do in fact have 100% and the final bestiary entry that's unlocked by completing the secret level. So yeah, this is a pretty fun run. Um, I don't know if it's that much of a speed run in the traditional sense, but it's a really fun challenge run. Um, obviously I could have done it a lot faster, I could have not spent so long in Gusty Rapids, but if anyone else wants to try it, good luck to them. <laughs> 